This week's tip at Computer World is how to change or recover your Apple ID password. To see your Apple ID, you can go into your iCloud preferences by going into System Preferences, iCloud, and you can see what's all in your Apple ID. Now it may come up asking you for your password here. Otherwise, what you can do is go into appleid.com. So go into appleid.com and it's in here where you can manage your Apple ID or reset your password. So if I click on manage my Apple ID, I have the option to type in my Apple ID. And then right there I have the option of saying forgot my password. So if you can't remember your Apple ID password, um, you'll click on that. And it'll come up and you may have to type in your Apple ID or it may be filled in there for you already and then you're gonna click next. And you have two options for recovering and resetting your Apple ID password. You can do it through email authentication or you can do it through security questions. If that email that you use is no longer correct, then you'll want to do the answer security questions. Um, otherwise, the best way is to go through the email. Um, so when I click next, it'll come up and say that an email has been sent. So you'll want to go to your email and so whether that is logging in through Safari and going through the actual account or using your mail app on your Apple computer or iOS device. So then you should see your Apple email come up and you're gonna go ahead and click on it and you'll see that there's the option to reset now. So you can click reset and it'll come up and this is where you can go in and create a new password. Now, if you try and use the same password, it's gonna come up and say that the new password must not have been used within the past year. So that means that you need to go in and change it to a different password. Now you'll see that it must have at least one lowercase character, at least a capital letter, at least a number, um, can't have more than two consecutive identical characters, um, must not be the same as the account name, must be at least eight characters long, can't be a common password, and can't be used in the past year. So it will tell you what can and cannot be used. And if you've used it, then it will not let you through. So creating a new password on your own computer, you can click save password if you would like to. And then as you can see, it's gonna come up from iCloud saying that you've created a new password and you need to change it in your iCloud preferences. So for here, I'll need to type in my new password. And again, I called password, I'll need to type that in again. You might have to do this a few times depending upon how many applications you have going that uses your iCloud for password. All right, and then if you go in and you reset using your security questions, when you use the security questions to reset your Apple ID, it'll first ask you for your birthday. So make sure that you put in your birthday. Click next. 
All right, so here it's gonna come up with the security questions that you have already pre-selected and answered. If these questions do not look familiar to you, then I recommend going the email route. And if the email route is not possible, then you will actually need to call Apple Support. Um, and their number is 1-800-275-2273. And that is how you change or recover your Apple ID password.